There we go. We're off the beach. Some quite pretty houses down here. I don't know if they're any new. Hello! Oh, a sniff. Hello, Andy. We're just heading up towards the golf course. Managed to catch up with people now. Hello, hi, Sean. <laughs> Kids and dogs. <laughs> Someone's found a stick to kill. Hey! She's killing the stick. Oh, she killed your stick. <laughs> Come on then. Got a beautiful sky. It's gorgeous. It is lovely to see some sunshine, Andy. It's really exciting. It actually feels a bit like spring today. I'm sure we're in for. <laughs> snow and ice to come in probably January, February time, but, but take the good weather where you can. It's a little house for sale. It's quite pretty. So I've never scoped the golf course before. I used to walk across there quite a lot when the kids were really young. There's Haggis, the other dog. It's a border terrier as well. He's only little. He's uh I guess he's almost two, isn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll let you go first. Come on, Tom, hurry up. Sorry, I didn't mean to shout. Go on. I forgot I've got a microphone. Ooh, sunshine. So this is a golf course in the West Street. I haven't been across here for ages. photographing today. I haven't seen caught any discos recently. That's SR pics, isn't it? Scott. There's some amazing photography. chilly in the eastern US. Oh. oh, it's a bit windy. But it's not very cold. I mean, it's just, it's kind of jacket weather. But no hats and scarves. Oh, asthma's difficult, isn't it? Hopefully it'll clear up a little bit later. Does the weather affect your asthma, Andy? Big sky. Love these gorgeous skies. Woo. Golfers. And then that's where we've just walked from. So the beach is over that way. <coughs> Hello. How are you? There's lots of dogs out for walks today. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Justin's mum's got asthma and she finds it difficult when she gets a cold. <coughs> Just got to take it easy, I guess. Wait for it to pass. She says she just finds that she has to do everything a little bit slower and she's suffering. <coughs> She tried actually some uh, Chinese herbal medicine for a while. She was on, I think, for about a three month course of it. She went to a place down in Brighton and it actually improved her asthma a lot. She didn't keep it up in the end, but it really did make a difference. She didn't cough nearly as much as she had done. I thought that was quite interesting. <coughs> I 
Ready this one. Hello Paula, how are you doing? This is Whitstable Golf Course. There's a little walkway across the middle, so. Yeah, I think the only thing Andy, it's really, it's quite expensive from memory. But um, it definitely improved her asthma. <clears throat> it's really bright, isn't it? Hello. Morning. Morning. Right, Tom, what have you got? Two Wolverine's claws. Two Wolverine's claws? Yes, two Wolverine's claws. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, breakfast was really good. We went to a place called Elliot's, number one Harbour Street in Whitstable. It was really nice. You know, the ingredients are just good. It's not necessarily expensive or anything, but it's just... So it was really nice. Service took a little bit longer, but... We're going that way. Or that way. Uh, you walk into town. Pardon? Should we walk back through town? We could do if we go that way. You're not too late. Go on then. Yeah. Okay. Let's go over the railway. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. Okay. <laughs> the dogs they all think they're just sticks. <laughs> I know, but they had your fingers inside of them, Tom. <laughs> Stand to the side. You can see the beach huts in the background over there. Hello. Oh, I will see you, okay. Oh, he only lives a couple of miles from you. Yeah, it's got scopes, they're brilliant, aren't they? Let's see. I wonder if any of the trains are running today. One love, one heart. Hi, Russia. <coughs> Actually, the quality of the spelling on some of the Is it? Is it? Oh, okay. As long as there's good uh, good grammar on the graffiti, we don't mind. Daisy do. <laughs> She's off. Hey Tony, how are you? You want me to carry that, don't you? I can tell. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. He's involved in radio quite a lot, isn't he, Andy? Is it radio or broadcasting? <clears throat> hey, Tony, how's London? Are you in London, my friend? Today? Ah, you might be. Morning. 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 High speed. It's HS1. It's on its way up to you, Tony. <laughs> no, it's not Eurostar, Tom. It's HS1. It's HS1. High speed one. The Eurostar is a bit older than that. up to pinching gold balls. Mm. <laughs> it is very fast. It's only the last bit that's faster, Simon. <clears throat> Weirdly, they can't go fast on this bit of track. So they built this multi-million pound railway and it only goes fast from sort of Ebbsfleet into London, which is only about, I don't know, 20 miles or something. <laughs> All right. Should have brought my wellies out. It's quite sticky underfoot. No, I'm a dog and I'm saying hello. Oh. <laughs> You're funny. Yeah, the high speed go slow train. Hello, how are you doing? You alright?
<clears throat> Are you going to want your hat back again, B? Did I get anything Periscope related for Christmas? No, not really. Did you? I've already got an Ollie clip. I already bought that, but I don't use it very often. I think it's because I have my iPhone in a case, so I can hang on to it when I'm snorkeling. And it doesn't really fit over the case. I need an adjustable thing. You did? What'd you get? Do this, and then you can see the sea from here. Cool. You see the back of the beach huts. <clears throat> ah, power pack. Oh, brilliant. Oh, Tony, don't be so, <laughs> so miserable. What do you mean you've got nothing out of Periscope? Periscope's brilliant. <laughs> you've got us lovely followers. <laughs> no? No? Don't sound convinced. You know, Periscope's not about what you get. <laughs> Got those lovely clouds, aren't they gorgeous? Aha! Going this way. Turn it back up this way. <clears throat> hey, South End! You're over there, look. I'll show you. I can show you where you are. You are. Hold on two secs. You see those white buildings, we'll hold it still. At South End! <laughs> uh, I'm waving. Hi! <laughs> hey Mark. It does rain quite a lot in the UK, but we also get sunshine, which is good. Oh, it's sticky. Underfoot. Hello. How are you? Past the allotments. Do you have allotments where you are? <clears throat> so allotments of the UK are basically just plots of land. I think you pay a yearly fee for, and it's kind of communal in a communal area, and you, they're all kind of marked out into little plots, and then people grow fruit and veg on them. It's really for people that don't have gardens or don't have big gardens. It started during the war, yes, that's right. It was at the Dig for Victory when uh, it was all about homegrown produce because of rationing. I think that's right, isn't it? See you later. Have a good one. I hope you feel a bit better later on. <clears throat> so this is uh, up towards a lane called Joy Lane. It's a it's a road really, and all the big houses in Whitstable are in Joy Lane. Some quite interesting ones. <laughs> Tony, you are funny. Yeah, you used to probably read the paper and listen to the cricket. <laughs> Oh, never mind. I'm sure they'll survive. <laughs> Are you going to want your hat back, B? Or shall I put it in my bag? No, don't walk through the water. Please. I know, but your feet will get wet. Oh, well, it won't be very comfortable. <laughs> That was it. It's probably just uh, time to themselves. They get to read the paper, check the cricket, listen to the cricket. I think that's what it was. I 
This is Joy Lane. The big house is along the street. <coughs> Uh, you've been to two countries, England and Scotland. And you're going to France next year. Which is three. Which is three, yes. Hello, how are you doing? It has been a long time, hasn't it? Just out for a little walk with the family. Walk off breakfast. <laughs> yes, Tony. <laughs> Camper van, V dub. Oh, <gasps> lovely, Simon. Lovely. I've never been to Thailand. Uh, Justin's sister, the lady in French, has been to Thailand quite a few times. She really likes it. Oysters in Whitstable. They're called Whitstable native oysters. I think they're only available for a couple of months a year. Look at that big house. It'll be your fifth visit. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I bet you can't wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, her husband hasn't been. I wonder what the temperature will be when you go, Simon. I like your whistling bee. Ah, with my Amy. 30 degrees, gorgeous. Watch out, bee. Oh, I had a really good Christmas. Yeah, it's fun just to hang out with the family and not have to work. It's really good. I love it. Watching films and things. So, yeah. And getting time to periscope. <laughs> it's been really busy recently, so I haven't had much time. What's in there? That big house. <coughs> That's a nice one. A very, very Christmas. Ah, oh. <laughs> how funny. I hadn't thought of that. I forgot the hashtag Christmas, didn't I? So that you could um, have Christmas hearts and Christmas trees. Let's see you whistling, Bee. Yeah. Yeah, jury service is all finished. Can't really talk about the cases, but one was a. Uh, uh, it wasn't. It was quite horrific. One was a sexual assault on a young person, and the other one was um, GBH with intent. Both of them were convicted, so. I know. I would do it again, definitely. Jury service is one of the best experiences I've ever had. Really good, really interesting. And uh, yeah, the sense of responsibility, you've got to get it right. You've got to make the right decisions and consider all of the evidence. Um, so yeah, I would definitely do it again. Not that I like to stand in judgment on my fellow man, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> but um, if you can contribute and you can do the best job that you can for the tasks that you've been given, I think that that's what makes it worthwhile, you know? And you meet all different kinds of people. Luckily, the, the fellow jurors I was with are absolutely great people, really good. We had some smashing debates, you know, a lot of deliberation, and gave them a fair trial, and that's all you can do, really. Oh, okay, yeah. 
Yeah, I've been called before, but when I got there, they didn't need me. This was in Scotland. Yeah, it's quite intense. I wouldn't say that they work you that hard because I don't know what it is about the court system. They tend to only want to actually do any work between 10 and 4 and it's very short bursts. You're kind of in for 20 minutes and then back out. But it was fascinating. The court system was fascinating. And uh, some of the lawyers are amazing. Uh, really, really clever people. And you can watch the, their arguments unfold and they're really kind of just you know great memories really good at what they do some of them not not so good but and the same with the judges as well some of the judges are brilliant people absolutely brilliant it's definitely worth doing if you get called if you can <clears throat> I still find it quite fascinating that you have 12 people or just basically people off the street that can make judgment about somebody's future. Sorry. I think that's quite odd. You know, people without any uh, prior qualifications and I don't know, it's just, and I mean qualifications and sort of the, uh, see you later, bye Simon. Yeah, it's just, it's really weird. But I guess that's why they have 12 of them, so that you get a variety of people with different backgrounds. See you later, Simon. Have a lovely day. If the weather's good. May the weather be good for your periscoping. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it was a great experience. These are quite interesting, aren't they? I think they're fairly modern, but made to look Tudor. I've never scoped this end of town before. big old house anyway guys I'm going to sign off now hope you have a lovely day and um, hopefully catch some of your scopes later on and maybe see you later all right see you later should we turn it around B say bye bye hold on let me bye, bye. <laughs>